And now we're on to our last guest at Oceanside Spectrum. And now we're going to have an educational slant. Really excited about this. We've got Dr. Lin Linda Kimball, and she's with Vista Unified School District. And kind of like the president, how are you doing your first 100 days? Congratulations in her first eight months. And she's on Oceanside Spectrum with some news about what's going on at Vista Unified School District. So can you tell us a little bit about your school district and, and the makeup of, of the community that you're in charge of? Well, sure. Vista Unified is a fantastic district. We have 26 schools. We span everywhere from two-year-olds all the way up to adults. Primarily, we have um, kindergarten through grade 12, but we also have preschools and we have adult school. Um, we have some transition students, um, special education students. And so it's a, it's a whole community full of people learning and uh, very exciting. We're um, demographically diverse, largely Latino, about 60% Latino, but um, for sure, you know, so, some Caucasian, some African American, some Asian, and so it's a little bit of a mix and um, all just uh, excited, motivated people, you know, out there doing their best to learn in the school. So having a great time. Well, I'm sure as a superintendent, you seem like a very dynamic lady Thank who you. can bring a lot, a lot of positive change to, to Vista Unified. Um, what are some of the programs that the school district has been involved in? Can you tell us a little bit about the bus and music programs, sure, perhaps? Sure. Absolutely. So there are lots of great things going on, and one of the things that I encountered when I got there were some really great uh, magnet programs and some kind of brands, like you know, some of our schools. We have lots of academies, so we have a dual immersion academy, which which is where kids are learning in Spanish and English. We have um, STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering. Um, we have music programs, things like that. Lots of specialized brands at different schools where, you know, students can say, hey, I really want to study um, whatever it might be, design thinking, and so I'm going to go to Vita. Or, you know, so, so students decide what they want to do. And so um, what that's resulted in, though, is the need to get kids there. So when I arrived, we have lots of we had lots of students walking pretty significant distances. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that we did quickly was to put bus transportation back in, which is kind of the opposite of what's been happening in school districts. Right. Lately, they've been uh, actually downsizing transportation, which happened in Vista some time ago. And now we're realizing our kids are walking really far, some of them. So this year we added eight bus routes, eight buses, wow. and um, over a million dollars in transportation. The purpose of which to get kids off of the off of the street, you know, and and you know, a reasonable walk is fine. A couple, mile, mile and a half is a fine walk, but three miles is too much. So we're really trying to um, put that into place. Um, definitely uh, expanding the arts. Um, the arts is a, is a big area of focus right now. So um, we're we're, our goal is to make sure that every child has access to the arts during their school day. Um, so that's something we're uh, definitely working on, community, uh, working with, on building community partnerships and um, trying to make sure that everybody has a, a, a strong, stable arts education from K all the way up. Um, Wonderful. Through their grades. I'm so excited <clears throat> to hear that the arts and music and things like that are coming back after all these cuts and then transportation, just getting kids safely to school for their overall experience. And how interesting now, you're not just in a general school anymore. You can pick a specialty that you maybe excel at and then the uh, school district can help you be all you can be. Absolutely. Um, what are some of the biggest challenges? And uh, we talked a little bit before the show, just, you know, the dollar doesn't go as far as it used to, but can right. you tell us some of your priorities? Right, so uh, we have definitely been working on expanding the opportunities, expanding things that are a little bit different for different children so they can choose, you know, like I said, there are a number of different academies. Kids can pick where they'd like to go to school. Um, but what that does, first of all, it costs significant money and second of all it requires um, getting the student to that program and so transportation is definitely um, an expense but also um, we also just find that the budget is constricting so we're having to figure out how to, how to do great things with less money mm -hmm. and so um, that's something that we're working on um, and is a challenge every day I would say 
Right. I'm sorry, can you tell me a little bit more about the bond measure that's coming up? Oh, Inform sure. us about that. Sure, sure. Thanks. So when I arrived um, in Vista Unified, I noticed that there are, there are over 250 portables that are over 25 years old. So at one time, a lot of portables were put down. Um, they are aging, they are too old, um, and they need to be replaced with more permanent housing, student housing. So we're not trying to build the Taj Mahal. We're trying to adequately house students in a safe, welcoming, um, college and career preparatory environment. And so uh, we will be going out for a bond uh, measure LL in November. And the purpose of that is really to, like I said, um, right size uh, our schools and make them um, adequate, sharp, safe um, student housing. And so that's, that's a major effort going on right now. Well, I really hope the community gets behind that proposition because kids learn better when they're in a, a safe and happy and a, a decent building and it builds a sense of pride in the community. Absolutely. Um, so parents can volunteer for the school district. Shall they contact you on the website and such for more information? Sure, they can absolutely uh, reach out to us at the school district. We um, will route them to a committee that's working on this. It's the, the, a group of parents and community members that are really um, getting out there. Everything from they'll be calling, they'll be walking precincts, they'll be donating do just dollars. Um, they'll be helping in many ways, trying to connect with people and help them to understand the need to have adequate student housing um, that, you know, to allow students to have what they need to do well in school. Excellent, excellent. Well, I wish you well. You're very ambitious, and I think Vista is lucky to have you. Thank you. And you're going to set the world on fire over there and get a lot of great things done and, and put the students and the teachers first and have successful families come out of this. And uh, very, very nice to meet you today.